Welcome to week eight of season five of the Southern Nation League. I'm your play-by-play -play analyst, Josh Gonzalez, and I'm joined here by Chris Robinson. Yep. This is going to be an exciting game against the Makos, sponsored by Amat Law versus the Magicians, sponsored by the Grooming Gallery. And this is going to be an interesting one. The Magicians making a blockbuster trade with you, your team. Uh -huh. um, what do you think about that? How is that going to help them out, or is it going to break them? Well, first of all, Sterling and Jacob Nolan, great players, great guys. Uh, but when Boogie approached me for Phil, as the Makos get a quick layup here. Um, I mean, what am I going to say no to Phil? You know? um, Jacob's a great guy, great defender, great shooter. Sterling, great young player, great defender as well. And they had their best game last week. And what, they're connect what they can add to the Magicians is, first of all, character, effort, and offense and defense on both ends of the floor. And I think that's what they need right now. Ooh, good block good by block. Shot Dog. Here comes Phil, 1v1, or 1v1, oh, my bad. We're just talking about Phil. <laughs> all good, man. Here comes 1v1. God, yeah, taking the lane, match. and he gets it. Well, this is, again, part, this is part of the issue that they're going to have. Um, first of all, they only have five guys in the court at the moment, so they're at a disadvantage. But... Um, they're going to have to figure out how to match up against 1v1 if they get another turnover here. Oh, man. The Mako's really starting off good early. That's a great steal. You got a timeout over here? Oh, already. That That's a timeout already. Yusuf already trying to get in their head. Yeah. I feel, I feel bad for these guys. Right now, if I'm boogie, I'm just trying to make sure, trying to keep them in a positive headspace. I know they're working and they're going in an uphill battle here. Um, and the Mako's... Looks like they're punching down at the moment. <laughs> right. Um, blood in the water is just, as they, as they like to say, they smell blood in the water. They see five guys, like, we might as well jump on them now. Yeah, and with that, you know, we buy houses. We buy houses, mobile homes of any type, any condition, no equity, no problem. You could get $1,000 off if you refer a home. And to do that, you could call Josiah Kenyon at 407 735 6228. I thought you had that memorized, man. Yeah, that's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. I'm kind of forced to. I don't have my ad reads here yeah, today, no. but hey, You're I've been good, doing man. this for a little bit, so now wow. I kind of remember most of it. Quick on your feet, though. Yeah. I think we had a sideline report by Parker as well. I missed that. Oh, nice. All right. It's Gary Harris. I like Gary's aggressiveness. Uh, sometimes I, I do wish he would get others involved a little bit more. I do too, man. I, and you know what? Last game... Oh, man, oh, I had Mike to stop right Mike. there because wow. Good shot, Mike. the hood superstar hitting a three early. Um, yeah, no, like I was saying, Trey oh. Rivera was doing a great job, hit three for three, and then they stopped passing to him. Right. I feel like they got to facilitate the ball and recognize who's their, uh, their, you know, their star at the moment. Yep. That is absolutely right. Oh, oh there's another over. bad pass. I think the communication is off. There goes 1v1, God. That's a sweet finish of the day brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. Shout out to Ash. So right now, um, the margin for error for the Magicians is pretty much non-existent. So the more they turn the ball over here, the worse it's going to get. Boogie, Boogie with, an, with air an air ball. That's the brick of the day brought to you by Zane the Realtor. Here comes Yusuf with the finish. Good job, Yusuf. That's not a bad shot by Boogie. I mean, if I honestly, if Ant were here, he'd probably tell him to take the three instead. But Boogie, yeah. Boogie works on his game. He takes those kinds of shots. It's just his first shot of the game, though. Yeah, it's first shot. And usually I don't call Brick of the Day on the first shots of the game, but that right. was an air ball I had to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I'm, I'm sure he'll understand it. Oh, anyway. yeah. It's for the shorts. All right, what we got here? I don't think it is. All right. We got Chili against, uh, Chili against Shot Dog is going to be interesting because... Obviously, Shot Dog's taller, but Chili's not a small dude either. The way Yusuf is playing on Gary Harris is kind of frustrating him a little bit. He's getting uh, caught man, in the middle of the lane. Good job, Trey. Oh, here comes Trey. Good rebound. Pulls up a mid. He can't hit. He made that shot last week, so I think he can. That's one of his uh, one of the shots. Oh, D three from Yusuf. That's an air ball. Brick of the day brought to you by Zane, the realtor. Two air balls. Early here. They're just warming up, though. Oh, Brandon Steve's checking in. Next dead ball. See, the thing, so here's my concern for the Makos. As Gary takes it in, that's a great take by Gary going yeah. to the basket, not settling. Uh, for the Makos, I get you're up seven. Why take that shot in that situation? Right. Just be patient, build the lead, and then, you know, do what you got to do. Right. Against a team right now that's got five people, six people, Yeah. that might be okay. What's going to happen in the playoffs? Yeah. No, you take true. those kind of shots against good teams that, really, that, are, that have everybody, you know? Yeah, no, like you said, you know, establish a lead first. Yep. Then you can go ahead and try to bury him. Right, exactly. You know? 
You know better. <laughs> I'll take brick of the day. <laughs> <laughs> you know better. So it was back to back brick of the day. So, and it's it's early, just warming up. <laughs> so ironic. After we buy houses, we have so many bricks. It's we buy houses, not we build it. Come on, guys. <laughs> there you go. That's good rebound by the Makos. Here comes Yusuf. His handles and speed, go, man, it's incredible. Luke, pass it. I don't know if that was a shot or a pass. It, it might was, have just been a it, short pass. It was a shot at first, and then he changed his mind about it. Yeah. Fouls on Chile. The calling matchup. It looks like they have their man. Chile is yeah. Just, they, it looks like Chile's they have such a set great matchup. leader. Great leader in Chile. Good pass. Oh, good pass. One. X hits it. That's the assist of the day. Brought to you by. Uh, <laughs> Who's assist of the day? I forgot. Oh, my bad. Of the day I'm like, I have it right here. What am I doing? Houses? It's Yeah, we buy houses. We buy houses. Oh, Jack Hinton. Shout out to the Jack Hinton. <laughs> oh, Gary Jack with the, the basket. Fake. Oh, out Brandon Steed. Steed. That's a great pass. Great job, Brandon Steed. And that's the kind of game you want Gary to play. Aggressive, yes, but looking to kick out. You know, Brandon Steed's a good player. You get him involved. They have good shooters off the bench in Jacob Nolan. And oh, good job. steal by go. Gary Harris. He ah. takes it all the way. Uh, you almost want to. I get the call. It's obvious. Yeah, but, but he's on a fast break. Yeah, usually if I'm riffing, if you have an advantage, I'll try to let it go. Right. Yeah, he had a layup. <laughs> Let me see what they're discussing here. Um, I saw, I actually saw Brandon Steed earlier today uh, warming up. He was he was knocking these threes down, man. I think that's something that unique that he brought to the game. He could bust down middies, but if you're not careful, he will kill you from the three point line. Absolutely right. And if that if that three point is falling for him, he's almost impossible to guard mm -hmm. as long as he's getting to his spot. Heard. So. The foul was on a clear path. Right. Take foul, so we're getting a free throw here for the Magicians. I agree with it. And I believe they get the ball back. Yes, they do. Gary Harris gets the friendly bounce, makes the first free throw. And now the Magicians have the ball. It's a four-point game. Oh, yeah. They, they can convert game. here. And honestly, I'm, I feel like there's more energy from the Magicians. I see there's a lot of fast breaks from the Makos, but I just feel like, I don't know, the Magicians, there's no quitting them. I really like that about it. Yeah, I know. They're a really gritty team. If you're going to put them out, you have to. Right. Last game, they were down by, I don't know how much, brought it all the way back to five points as Mitch uh, misses that shot. You know, I don't mind that shot. He sent one already. It was in rhythm. You know, he might as well take that shot. It's open. You got to be a threat. And he was working on it in, the, in his warm up. Call him 2 3 here from Boogie. Good job, Boogie, coaching him up. Oh, that was a great pass by Yusuf. 1v1 God bangs it in. That's the assist of the day brought to you by We Buy Houses. And that's the concern you have if you go zone. Those wings on the zone, they're just it's open jumpers. And if you can hit those like the Makos just did, good shot there by Trey. Trey! Great job answering that three with the three. That's a big one. Once he starts getting hot, I would look to pass him the ball. Right. And so, honestly, dude, just like a couple plays, uh, that last play with uh, Yusuf, I have it written down here that they just got to keep up that ball movement. And if, I mean, Yusuf did it an incredible job of passing the ball last game. That's what he needs to do this game to try to get the victory. So Brandon Steed tries to hit a three. Can't, can't make it. Trey. <laughs> Oh, oh Trey said with a hand in my face, and it's it! That's two in a row! Great shot, Trey. He said, don't worry, I got y'all. I've been on Magicians all season. Yusuf looks to answer back, he can't with a yeah, long range no. shot. Found the Makos on Brandon the Steed finds Trey again in the corner. Trey does a smart pass Gary to Gary three. Harris, who makes it! That's three threes in a row by the Magicians. Absolutely awesome job by the Magicians. Great response. Man, that three ball is an equalizer, I'll tell you what. Great job, guys. And with that, we're going to go to the grooming gallery. Our, our boy, Horace. Great, meticulous barber. He'd get you right. You need a fade, blow out, anything. He could get you right. Go ahead and hit him up at the grooming gallery to get your haircut today. Nice. So, How to make that one. No, you're, yeah, you're good, man. Shout and uh, with that, we go to a sideline report with Parker. I thought... I thought this game was got to get blown open by the Makos playing really well. Shout out Shot Doc playing really well. Come here, Eric. What did we just see? I thought this was about to get blown open for the Makos and then a barrage. An onslaught of three people this. In this league, no lead is safe. No lead is no safe. Lead is safe.
You got to play fully through all 40 minutes. 100%. No sleeping. No sleeping. No sleeping. New look magicians, no watch sleeping. out. So they're staying in this 2-3. So again, the concern I would have if I'm running this 2-3 is I'm giving up wide open threes for the most part. But I'm not sure that I would do this zone. I guess he's just trying to conserve energy for now. Probably right. Yeah, great job. Oh, great makeup. ball movement. Yusuf with a three. Can't hit. That's his third miss from the three-point line. If Gary, if Gary Boss is out there, even though 1v1 as a shot dog shoots that. Oh, great rebound I like by that Chili. shot. I like that shot. In this way. Oh, oh, good wow. stop. If I've that, never seen shot dog get that low. That was crazy. Oh, that's a travel. Oh, that is one. a travel. Great job, man. Great job. Mistake by Q there. 17 to 15, man. <clears throat> Who'd have thought? There you go, Chili. Oh, Chili with the there good There you go, cut. Chili. Great job. The assist of the day brought to you by We Buy Houses. I love bounce passes. You know, that's going to be key for them. Chili's an extremely athletic guard, really. He just plays big because he's bigger than all of us, but he's really a guard size. So if he can take advantage of that uh, as far as the shot dog matchup, as QDZ takes him in the post. I 100% I agree. The way he moves, the way he facilitates the ball and everything, right. he can be a guard. Yeah, for sure. And a good one at that. JP. Oh, JP takes it in, gets take. it. That's a really good Sweet take, finish of the day brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. You know, and that's a, that's a mechanism of moving the ball on the perimeter against the zone, getting to shift, and then somebody attacks the zone, which is out of position there. Right. It's a great screen by Chili, oh. great take by Gary. Gary Harris, sweet finisher of the day, brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. Back to back, sweet finishes right there. And that play was made possible by Chili's screen. Man. That was a hard ass screen up top on Yusuf, I believe. Oh, yeah. And then Gary was able to get downhill and finish that layup. Great and that's job. the thing, Yusuf is doing a good job defending Gary Harris. So they were like, you know what? Let's hit him with a screen. He was guarding him up so, so well that he got caught on there and couldn't make it back. Exactly right. And then he missed another three. Another three missed by the Makos. That, honestly, that is uncharacteristic. No, oh, my goodness. Coming. There goes 1v1 guy with a steal. Oh. That did, hit, that did hit his foot first before the foul. There was a collision, and they're going to call it a foul. It's going to be Makos' ball. Okay. Man. Yeah, I think that did hit his foot first, but that's, that's a tough spot to be in. It is. 1v1 attacks. Oh, Turnover good there. steal. Here comes Hood Superstar. Taking it all the way. And there he gets go. the Great friendly take. bounce. Great take, Mike Mitchell. <laughs> we got the hell yes from Parker. Good oh. tip by Brandon Steed. Dude, the magicians are playing great basketball right now. The number one thing I had for their key to victory was don't fight each other. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You'd be surprised you know? what happens when you play against the other team yeah, instead exactly. of yourself. So at that point, you got two opponents: your bench and the other team. And in some cases, the rest, the rest. too. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Shot talk with a great oh, pass. Great pass. That might Q. be assist of the day right there, man. That, yep. The assist of the day brought to you by We Buy Houses. Great job, man. Shot Dog's such a smart player, and he's so tall, he can see over most things, so running the zone on him is going to be tough, too, if he's facilitating for the Makos. Oh, great, great take, take by, by Brandon, Brandon Steve. Mm -hmm. He oh, was a great pickup. He was a great pickup, man. I know a lot of people get on him as far as the shot taking, but if he's hitting, man, he's, he's hitting. He's a, yeah. he's, he's oh, 1v1 guard going with a hand here? in his face. All these shots going on. Yeah, he really, yeah, every, he, Parker's right. That haircut has really changed him. And, uh, he was 1v1 human that. for a little bit, he said. I said that, like, the past few games, like, as soon as he got the haircut, I'm like, wow, this is yeah, a new it's a, whole, it's a new player right there, man. Joel, Joel Francis, or Joel, I never remember. All right, see, that's the... Uh, we got to go to other people. We got to go to the hot hands. Great job, woo, Gary. Woo, good job maintaining possession by 1v1 guy, but throws it right away. It looks like it was a kickball. QDZ one of the point. <laughs> That's tough because it's, it's got to be intentional. Right. But he was in a defensive slide, so you can consider that intentional. Sure. How much time is up? 822. JP looks like he's coming in. Well, Shot Doc's coming out. X. We got X and Fadi on the floor together. Oh, Fadi. QDZ. Fadi's an underrated facilitator as well. He is. Oh, he didn't look opposite. X turns around, can't get it. Yeah, he missed. He missed JP on the cut. Uh, if he had looked opposite. Good pass to Trey. Trey takes a three, misses that one. That's his first miss. Chili again. Chili's just first miss at the three point line. Oh, we got here. We got a five out. 
Four out now with Mike Mitchell in. You saw how they did that? The Makos look like they're, they're trying to trap Gary Harris from uh, taking that lane. Well, it looks like they're trying to funnel the, they're trying to funnel the ball to Mike Mitchell as QDZ right. fouls Mike Mitchell on the way to the basket. Yeah. Well, you said it best, actually. Yeah, that's exactly what they're trying to do. Because it was, as soon as Mike got the ball, the defense stopped reacting. It was like, all right, the ball's where we need it. And they just backed off. And then he went right at QDZ. Great decision by Mike not taking that three. So far, they're doing a good job of containing G. Oh yeah, for, well G's also doing a good job of facilitating, facilitating too. He's doing a good yeah, job of making sure that. he's he's doing something. He's got his fingerprints on the game, so he is digging up as well. He's doing a great job on that side of the court. What's up, yeah, Axel? He's really good at making the adjustments on the fly, right. passing it to open teammates. You know, and this is the other thing too. If I'm the magicians, I want to shorten this game mm -hmm. because I know I'm shorthanded to begin with. Right. Let me attack. Let me get to the foul line. Take a minute off. Oh, great they job. get the ball back right after the free throw try. Can't hit. Gets his get own rebound. Back. A block by JP, but they call it a foul instead. I right. think that was, I, it looked like a good block to me from here. So the first one was definitely a good block. I don't know what's going on in the second one. He probably got hit. Um, I'm not down there, so I can't see, but yeah, from right. here. <laughs> Couldn't see through Eric on that one. But look at, at the end of the day, going to the basket twice, you got fouled twice, you've taken two minutes off the clock, and you still have your lead. That's true. So if you're the magician, this is kind of what, you, this is the game you want to play. You want to attack the basket, obviously take the threes that become available to you because you're hitting at a high percentage for the most part. Uh, but you want to do this. Get to the line, take time off the clock, make every every possession for the Makos way more. They have to be essentially perfect if they want to come back now. Yeah, you're right. They do have to play at their pace, utilize their new weapons that they have on their team as well. Let's see. And I don't think Shakespeare and Nola haven't gotten a chance to touch the court yet because they don't have their jerseys. Brandon Steed, man, hustle player. Here comes G, goes up all the way. Oh, hits that's the bottom one. of the rim. Yeah, that's a tough one. Oh, Yusuf. He's going with the slow Euro, yep. Look at that pass to the corner. Hits X, X at the top, three. gets there the three. That that's hurts. some good ball movement. That hurts. And that's the thing, man. Yusuf is a good passer. He, he really is. is. He's, it, when he puts his mind to it, he can be one of the best point guards in the league who can also score. Honestly, he's, he's proved it to me the past two games. Last good game, look. he was doing the, the same thing, and he got better. And even in the podcast, he was mentioning it. He was yeah, like, you know what? Let me stop being selfish. That's G really good K. offense. Q and Brandon C fighting for the ball. We got a foul here. Foul on. We got a foul on Brandon Steen. Mm. They've got a reaching foul over there. He's doing a good job, though. He's, you know, trying to get in there. That's what happened in the last play. QDZ got the rebound over him, but with active hands, he was able to get the steal. Yeah, I mean, get three team fouls not too bad. Yeah. They're, they're doing a good job of eliminating their fouls. Yeah, it's 3-5. I'm the magicians, hey, man. I'm, I'm chilling. Woo! That was a great pass by Yusuf. We got great a foul. Pass. That was a great pass. We got a foul on Chile. Right, I got you. Right, I got you. If I'm the Magicians, this game's going well for me because I have a lead. There's four and a half left in the half. Yep, you got This could have gotten ugly right. and it didn't. With oh, the way yeah. it started, was they were down six nothing. It looked like the Makos were going to run away, you know, get a little run going. But especially with a limited team for the time being until Phil gets here. Right, and then Boogie calls that timeout fairly early. Everyone thought, but he's like, hey, let's just settle in, get the jitters out of there, and let's see what happens. Boogie's doing a good job, though, you know, talking and telling his team what to do, instructing them. That he is, man. As long as there's no, you know, bickering back and forth. But so far, like you said, I think yeah, I think Boogie's trying to put that behind them all so I know right. he's it was just I think it was just honestly it was because they were down the game wasn't going their way it was a whole bunch of factors right. that probably led up to that you know yeah right now it's, it's a different game right now there different pace wide open oh man that's his, that's his spot oh, that's a good Ooh, shot, it looks though. so good too it's a good shot it's open here comes Yusuf yep there you go guys that's oh, a bad takes shot a, yeah that was that was a questionable shot but Q right there looks like he trusted Q and he gets the and one yeah. We got to be smart for the magicians, man. We're short-handed. We can't foul. It's going to put us in a bad spot. If, they, if somebody ends up fouling out here and you have only five players and then they foul out, you're yeah. going to give up. Yeah, you're giving up free throws, tech free throws every time at that point. Just do the dean. Put your hands up. Right, just put your hands <laughs> up, put your hands up and stand there. <laughs> There's no chance. <laughs> oh, my God. Phil's here? Oh, thank oh, God. Phil has arrived. Phil's a real one. Now it might add a little bit more life into this magic, uh, Magician's team. It's like magic. Oh, there goes Brandon Steed with a D3. Great job, Brandon Steed. Puts his team back up. Oh, you 
Joseph with the mistake. He stepped out of bounds, and now it's a turnover. That's a good eye by Braylon, man. Braylon's one of our best refs. Oh, yeah. Not a lot gets by him, man. Don't try him. Great job. Oh, great pass. Oh, oh God, Boogie with the miss. The That's a brick of the day brought to you by Zane, the realtor. And here comes Yusuf. Finishes it. Let's try to get Sterling and Jacob in this game if I'm Boogie. That was a great transition. Brandon Steed, heat check. And he hits it. Two in a row for Brandon Steed. That's a great job, Brandon Steed. Brandon Steed's a... I had, him, I had him last season with the Reapers, man. He's a, he's a great player on both he ends really of the floor. Is. The Goblins are probably scratching their heads right now after that trade. Here comes Yusuf with the Euro step. Yeah, Good pass, pass out of man. it. Oh, uh, X can't finish. Great job, Magicians, man. I'm, I'm proud of these guys right now. I'm actually, if they can keep this up, I don't oh. know why I took that shot, but okay. He, he blocked it. Grab the rebound. All right, yeah, let's try something else, Mike. Uh, yeah, it, it looks like they got to slow it down just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, let's just take a good shot. The, this, Brandon Steve's hit two I think, threes. <laughs> I think what happened is he had the shot, he hesitated, and then it let the make. Uh, I think it was shot Doc who blocked him close in. Yeah, well, that's the thing. The other, yeah, this is smart by Steve. There's no shot right. clock. There's no point in <laughs> rushing. We have a lead. Oh, yeah. It's a minute and 40 seconds left. I get it looks like throwback. 1950s Boston Celtics basketball, but the reality is this is smart. Right. We are the underdogs. Let me go attack my mismatch. Oh, those middies for him are no, automatic, all that, but, but you gotta make it one. though. If you're gonna take that much time off, you gotta make it. That was a good shot though. Here comes Ruggie. Oh wow, dude. It looks like Yusuf has eyes in the back of his head. Good spin move, Euro step. What we got? What we got? What we got? Oh. We got a block. He's falling already. Yep. Oh That's man. That's a good call. If he would have made that, that would have been incredible. Yeah. His, his ball handling is really good, Yusuf. I think it's one of the best in the league, honestly. Yeah, he does have it on the string. There's a few guys. Chief also has a good handle. Chief, yeah. Chief has good handles. Honestly, uh, 1v1, Brandon obviously. Steed has really good handles as well. Mm -hmm. Trey has good handles. Are you good? I mean, yes. I mean, a lot of people do, but that's why I say one of the best because everyone is really good. Uh-oh. Good pass. Shot dog taking a three. Oh, can't hit. Falls into Trey's hand. Good job, Trey. Trey oh, that's bursting take, through the contact and gets it. Yep. Clear path. Yeah, okay, and it was before. It was okay. before. When he fouled him, he was not ahead of him. Next one, both sides, one and one. There. Man, this is, a, close, yet, this is a closer game than I thought. Yeah, I think it's a closer game than everybody. That's why I'm, I'm really impressed with what Boogie's done with these guys this week and what these guys are bringing forward on the court. You know, there's no quitting these guys. Everyone was questioning the trades. There's only two original members left from the draft night on the Magicians, but it looks like Boogie made some good trades here. It's just frustrating. Just oh, it's frustrating oh. that we're not moving the ball here, guys. It's right. really we we do a lot of dribbling for 20 seconds and then we go and we attack a zone by ourselves. Right. Just kick the ball out. Kills and, and also when you pass the ball, it gets the heads turning, the eyes moving. You could exactly. get someone open that way. Like look at this. They're not even working hard defensively right now. Right here, yeah, right here you could be passing the ball, making them look around. Uh oh, yeah, this is this is the matchup that's, that's really good right here. Yusuf versus There we go. You right got to roll, yeah. Boogie. You got to roll. Yeah, Yusuf's a really good defender. All right, 19 seconds left. Woo! What we got here? Oh, he's making Gary. There we go. All right. with the ball. Yeah, get it out of his hands. Brandon Steed against 1v1. Great job, man. Right They're saying we're taking one hand. shot. We're going oh, to the halftime yeah. with the lead for sure. Great job. Magicians. Great take. Oh, oh, couldn't finish there. Q with a good rebound. Good job, Gary. Uh-oh. Maintain. Two. One. And oh, he can't hit. It. Man, these Man. two teams are gritty. I mean, at least you're going into halftime with the lead if I'm the Magicians. Oh, yeah. And with that, we're going to have a word from our sponsors. This is attorney Rochelle Amott with Amott Law. I'm a Florida personal injury attorney specializing in auto accidents and slip and falls. I have years of experience recovering millions for my clients at one of the nation's top law firms. If you or a loved one find yourself in this unfortunate situation, make sure to call us today. It would be our honor to represent you. We're super excited to be part of Selly Nation this season. Let's go Makos. It was hilarious. It was exciting. It was not exciting. Yusuf at one point wanted to go play at Esporta today. So um, I don't know. I don't know where their heads are at on the Makos right now. They're, le they're letting the Magicians get kind of whatever they want. Again, we got a whole other half to play. Magicians up 34-30. Let's go check in with those Magicians. Come on, Kyson. What, what, are, you, what are your predictions? Uh, Low-key Makos still. Oh, he likes the Makos. He likes what the Makos are seeing. There we go. There we go. 
good. Defense. Yes, sir. Way to play defense. Book. Good, fellas. You guys up. Four points at the half. It looked grim yes, in the sir. in the very start, but you guys, yes, barrage of threes from your three guards. Yes, uh, how do you keep that up? Let them let loose. Let them play their game. They passing, they rotating. I guess me yelling work. I don't know. We ain't going to talk about that, but they hooping. I just told them to have fun and play basketball. Whatever happens, I'll take it. There you go. One more half. Let's yes, get sir. it. Thank you. Love you, Book. Yes, sir. I love that guy. He's locked in. Don't worry. He's locked the fuck in. Big trades. Big trades. Three three Magicians players. Brand new. We got Jay Nola. We got Steed. We got Sterling. This is fun. This is the most traded team in Selling Nation history. So to see them leading after this half, it's very hard to win in this league, even though you've been playing all, all year together. Um, but when you just trade it, it's even harder. So... See if they can do it. I believe in magic. Do you? We're back, guys. And we are back. <laughs> oh man! It's a great halftime, man. Great halftime. Great half -time. Shakespeare is here with the jersey now, crazy. so they'll you be able to utilize their weapons. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Nothing, man. I'm wilding right now. <laughs> Sterling has checked into the game for the Magicians. That's, the, that's probably the biggest news from halftime is that Phil brought jerseys for Jacob Nolan and Sterling Shakespeare as well. They can finally get in on this game. And listen, they're going to, I know them. They were Reapers for life. There's a reason I drafted them, but there's a reason I had to trade them too. It's nothing to do with what they did in the court and everything to do with the fact that that's Phil. Right. And I'm excited to see I'm excited to see how these guys, you know, turn up on the court. Sterling Shakespeare over there wearing the 19. Oh yeah, taking it all the way and gets it. That's a sweet finish of the day brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. <laughs> I love getting blown by and looking like, where's the help? <laughs> it's like my guy. You guys are gonna five out. You don't have help in that situation. You gotta be up. Pick up the nearest guy. Oh damn. Oh man, made him jump. Uh oh. What we got? What we got? We got three seconds. Uh, Mike Mitchell. He said, he said you just selling it. I think he was just upset that he... Uh... Actually, I, th I think he did. <laughs> he was kind of selling it. That's useful, man. He sells everything. Him and... <laughs> Him and Sway are really good at selling content. It's so funny to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, Sway, Sway, Sway is kind of good at that. But it's there funny. All right, they uh, they make the technical free throw for the defensive three seconds on Mike Mitchell. Now it's a five-point game. And they retain possession here, fighting and bounding to my boy Brisky. Oh, he wanted to take that little key. Shot dog. Uh-oh. That's really good Eastern offense, guys. It good is. movement. Oh, shot tag with the three, and he hits it. That's rough, man. I, if I'm, I know that you're playing the zone, but you almost want to shade toward that. Take that away as much as you can. Oh yeah. Now it's only a two-point game. Let's see if the magicians can maintain the lead throughout this quarter. No, but I like that they just hoop. You know, there's not a lot of sets going on here for the magicians. He's like, let's just play. Right. Shakespeare with a three, and he hits it. That's the I first shot, and he made that, it. I that, man. I done told y'all about Sterling. Great shot, Sterling. Coming, Coming off the bench. First, his first shot of the day. Look Ooh, at that. Look at that pass from Yusuf. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, and he can't hit. I think, I, honestly, I think he should have facilitated the ball out. Yeah, man, he's getting some. Mike right, Mitchell, oh, man, Selfishness. what was that? Pass it that's to Trey. That's a great Trey. shot, Trey. Oh, great can't job. Hit. That's, that's magician ball. Great job, yep. Both teams are playing very gritty. Mike's looking for the fouls, man. He just keeps looking for the fouls. <laughs> there you go, Sterling. Sterling, oh, he backed him up, uh -oh. turns around, hits a fadeaway, can't shot. hit. Oh. There you go, guys, come on. No, they didn't call the travel, they said it's a steal. For Brandon Steed. That's Can't shot, make the though. midi. Great, oh, job, great rebound by Sterling. Puts it up that's and gets the job, foul. Man. See, that's what they were missing. A really good rebounder, and he could do it. Hey, man. He could be that Sterling, player. there's not a lot on the court that Sterling can't do. I will tell you that he is a younger player, but at the end of the day, that guy's built like a running back. Oh, yeah. He can get to the basket. He can shoot when he gets in the rhythm, which already he made his only three that he took, so he came out in rhythm. And if he's hitting from outside, you're in trouble. And then also he's hitting from the line, too. So, perfect. Man. That, that, he's, all, he's strong, quick. I will say it was not an easy, it was not as easy <laughs> as it sounds to trade Sterling right. and Jacob. I really love those guys. But again, player like Phil is hard to pass up oh, on. Exactly. 
It's a first round there, Mike Mitchell. There you go, Mike. Now you can attack. See yep. what you got. Look across court. Oh, he decides to take a deep three. Can't hit. That's an air ball. Brick of the day brought to you by Zane the Realtor. I don't understand why he took that shot. He had a couple I don't people either. This is what I'm talking Look, I love Mike Mitchell to death, but that kind of shot is you can't do that. You no. got to steal. You're, un you're in a transition situation. Go get a layup, swing the ball opposite. Oh, man, that Something. Was a, that was a great pass by 1v1 God. Couldn't. Body couldn't hit it. Here comes Steed. Oh, there we man. Go. That's an obvious call. That's all. Yeah, that was a push. See, and that's what happens when you get a turnover. You attack. You don't settle for the three. You're on the line again. You're killing time. You got a lead. Just kill time now. 16 minutes to go. I got some on the second shot. I'll blow the horn. After the shot, I got a shot. We got Jacob Nolan checking in after this shot. Oh. Checking in for Trey is Jacob Nolan here. That's a good free throw. Now the Magicians are smart. They're going to get Jacob involved as well. Boogie is instructing great shooter. Mike Mitchell to play a little bit more aggressive. Instru it's telling him that the rest of the players are smaller. All right, so we got, we got a 2-3 now. Still. Oh! Oh, two threes in a row for Shot Dog. I really don't. I don't want this zone if I'm the magicians. That's the only thing that's going to keep them in the game right. as far as the Makos are concerned. Oh, it's a pass to Jay Nola. Retains the ball. Pass it to Gary Harris. Assist by Jay Nola. Hits the three. There we go, Jacob. Great job getting down on the floor. I love to see my Reapers out here making an impact on their first game as soon as they get on the floor. Great job, Jacob. Great job, Sterling. Oh, there goes Shot Dog going table. up for a layup. Can't hit. I like that. Take initiative. Go in. This is like what Shot Dog reminds me of is like Larry Bird. And I don't mean when he was playing. I mean Larry Bird when he was coaching the Pacers. And he could still bust those young guys, you know, but he's, you know, things a little relaxed. I'm not a little older. That's how Shot Dog plays against us. Right? He's like not wasting too much energy. He's a work smarter, not harder kind of guy. Right. And on that one, he's like, I'm bigger than everybody. Let me just go to the basket. I'm going to get fouled. He's just doing smart. what the magicians should be doing consistently, which is just go inside. Go yeah. take some time off. Yeah. And also, you're slowing the game down. That kind of messes up the pace for the magicians. As, well. <laughs> as he misses the rare free throw for him. Yeah, uncharacteristic. There we go, Sterling. All right, what we got? What we got? Here Going comes downhill. Shakespeare. Oh, that's a good Can't take. hit. Yeah, just got to hit that, Sterling. That's a good take, though. Uh -oh. Here comes Yusuf down the lane, oh, takes easy, it man. in, and man. oh man, dude, that was, that was too, great. Too easy. It's crazy how he can move that fast and then out of nowhere just slow it down at the last second. Yeah, no, my ankles would be screaming if I did that. Yeah, same here. All right, we got we got a screen. Great screen up top there. Steed hits a three. Another screen into an open three. Those are the threes you want to take. They're in rhythm. You're wide open. It's not in transition when you're trying to you know, shoot on two people. You should be passing it to the opposite side. But shot dog, shot dog with a three of his own. Can't hit that time. Uh, oh, gives it straight to X. Great play. Yeah, that's the tough thing about playing the Makos, too. I mean, they out-rebounded us. I think it was 43 to 15. Um, so, yeah, QDZ can get some boards in a hurry if you're missing a lot of those shots. All Mike right. Mitchell with the ball, pass it to Brandon Steve. Right back to Mitchell. Another screen into a three. Pulls a three. Can't hit that time. So let's go to where the let's go to, to where, where your we playmakers just, are. Yeah. yeah, that's literally what we said in the beginning. Your playmakers give are going in. Give guys a chance, man. We we know we got Jacob Nolan in the game. We know he's a shooter. Let's get him in rhythm. Great take there by the Mako. Yep, and they and that's the price they pay right there. It's a conversion. Jacob Nolan has gotten me an assist. He's setting screens. Let's get him a few shots. Get him in rhythm because we're going to need him. There's Gary a wide Harris open. Wide open. Oh, can't hit that time. Great job, guys. There goes Sterling with the rebound. Good ball movement by the Magician. He gets Mike. right under there. Much better, Mike. Mike Superstar flexing. That's it, man. That's what that's what his role should be. Energy guy, go get rebounds. Yep. The six you can man. attack when you got a mismatch. You're, like, you're, not, you're more athletic than him. Good take here. Yusuf right now is just not feeling it from the three-point line as much. Great job, Gary. Oh, Gary. Oh, good pass to Mike Mitchell, who takes on, the three-point shot. Can't hit. Yeah, I don't, he's made one of those. I think it's time to that was try a great pass by Gary Harris. So. What was that? 
Yeah. What was the call? I'm not entirely. I was, I was, I was worried about if they were. They were gonna run into him. <laughs> well, it's gonna be Mako's ball. What is that? A timeout. Um, well, with that, Cell Nation has season five merch. If you want some? Go ahead and hit them up at Cell Nation League at, on Instagram. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Let's hear them. They just got to play better defense. U7 needs to shut the fuck up and play basketball. That's really it. For the for them to win? No, 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 no. <laughs> He's going to put a curse on you next time. You watch out. You watch out. Oh, man. Um, Brandon Steed, huge X Factor. A lot of these first-week magicians making a giant impact. Steed, Sh Sterling, uh, Jay Nola. Looking real good. Looking real good. Let's see if they keep it up. Do you believe in magic? No. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, next time I'm bringing my ad reach. Don't worry. No, we're good, man. We're just winging it right now. We're having fun. And not to mention, week eight, crunch time. So this game is very important for the magicians every, and the Makos. Every game for this division at this point, with the exception right. of familiar games who have locked up the playoff spot, mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty important for seeding for them. Yeah, La Familia has been playing amazing this season. All right, season. relax, relax. What we got? Good screen there by Chile. There goes Sterling. Oh, good, good pass. pass. Get that out of there. Get that out of there. Get Good job by Gary Harris to pass Damn, out of there. Oh, he people. fell. Left and right. Great shot. Oh, man. That's there a slip and fall. Brought to you by Mont Law. Great and job, a great Jay putback. Nola. The Reapers out here doing their thing, man. They're oh, doing there goes thing. Jay Nola with the steal. And he's going to take it. Oh, passes it to Gary Don't Harris in the me. corner. The high arcing shot couldn't hit. Gets they retain oh. the ball. Oh, straight into Yusuf's hands. So Yusuf passes it to X. That's off. Takes a three. And he hits it. That's the first That's three up. he made, but it comes here late in the game. You said that was wild. That was a good shot. You live with that shot if you're the magicians. Yusuf, don't take too many of those. I get why you took it. Great pass. Oh, wow. What a pass to Chili. That's the assist of the day brought to you by We Buy Houses. Listen, man. You love to see Chili making, making his layups. I know sometimes he gets he gets the yips because he can hit that shot. So it's good to see him hit that. If I'm being honest with you, the two players that you trade are really making a difference on the team. Yeah, they really tell you, they're not bad. They're good players. Good oh, 1v1 one God hits a three. You know, I haven't seen 1v1 touch the ball in a while, so I'm glad that he made that shot. I honest, realize that. I would be passing it to him a lot more. That's just my opinion. Right, we'll be, oh, yeah, I would be moving the ball around a lot, too. Oh, good take again. That's a foul. But oh, okay. Chile with Go the rebound. Up. Puts it back up. No Can't foul. Can't get the friendly oh, bounce. That's interesting. Yeah, that, that, That's I mean, two fouls that could have happened, but that's okay. 1v1. Oh, can't hit, but the Makos get it back. Oh, no. JP with the pump fake and gets it in. All right, now it's a one point game here. That was a great We got timeout magicians. What's the other time I read we had? I think that's all three. That's all three. No, we buy houses. Oh, yeah, you're right. We buy houses and mobile homes. Any type, any condition. <laughs> no equity, no problem. If you refer a home, you get $1,000 off, and that goes to closing. If you want to go ahead and contact Josiah Kenyon, go ahead and give him a call at 407-735-6228. For the most part, yeah. yeah. Good, good stuff, man. All right. For the most part. It's the last one. <laughs> the last one that threw me off. And with that, we're going to go to a sideline report with Parker. No lead is safe in this league. Absolutely not. Because sometimes your team plays for you, but then sometimes you have to play against your own team. That's just what happens. Um, yeah. 52-53. Uh, yeah. I don't know. What do you think, Axel? I don't know. Big shrug. He says, I don't know. I don't know either. Uh, magicians need to slow down. Um, the makers just need to lock in defensively. We saw multiple times uh, Yusuf give up on a play. That hole when he tried to double-team Brandon Steed and leave Chili wide open, that was not the play. I know he's trying to create a spark, but not the play. Um, nine minutes, 46 seconds, ton of basketball left. Let's see what's going on. Now yeah, we're back. Yep. This is a close game so far. One-point game. It is a one-point game, That's and the crazy. Magicians have had the lead for for quite some time now. Yeah, for most, of the, yeah, for half, most yeah. of the game. They went into the half with the lead. They've actually had the lead the whole time in the second half, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, in the second half, yes. In the first half, the, yeah, the Makos, the Makos led them, by, yeah. like, a couple, but then after that, the Magicians took it right back. Yeah, if I'm Boogie, I'm 
I'm feeling good about this right now. The magicians. Yeah, man. Oh, oh that's not that. a good look right there. Bad turnover. All right. We're just uh -oh. great job, Jacob Nolan, getting oh, deflection. Man. 1v1 God. Good, good pass. Job, oh, man. That was a great steal by Gary Harris. Oh, Here comes that. Brandon Steed. Throws it up. Can't oh, get it. Good defense by Luke. No, Just go into a little a, a control if I'm uh, Brandon Seed. Just go ahead oh, and pass get that. Oh, passes it to Yusuf. He can't make it. Man, Yusuf has been off from the three-point line all game. Ball. Yeah, Yusuf hit that one shot. If I'm the Makos, let me relax. What we got going on here? Magician's ball. Magician's ball. Okay. Oh, we got we got failed dap att uh, attempts over here. <laughs> failed dap attempts. Yeah, it's okay. It'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> no, yeah. Gary, Gary Harris. Harris doesn't hit that. I don't know about Sterling that one, but Shakespeare hey. getting smacked left and right. <laughs> yeah, three Makos on him. Good pass. Good ball movement by the Magicians. Brandon Steed takes it up and gets the foul. Oh, my God. That was a great inside screen. There's not a lot of – this is a screen that you don't see often. Usually you'll see a screen up top around the perimeter. But screening the big man in the paint for a guard to be able to drive like that, stealing him, that was a great play by Chili, allowing that to happen. QDZ had to fight over it and then ended up fouling as a result. That was really smart by Chili. Great job by Brandon Seed recognizing that and attacking. Oh, yeah. I think you're really good at breaking down <laughs> basketball plays for sure for all the fans at home. Good free throw there, Brandon Seed. Man. Brandon Steed, man. Great. That's a W go, pickup. And honestly, ev all, everyone was just a W pickup. Great fight, guys. Good Ooh. job, Chili. <laughs> Chili is just like, Give me that. he's the Dennis Rodman of our league. Man. <laughs> True. Jump ball. Oh, that, okay. oh. Hey, where's uh, where's Nick? Right, where is Nick? Where's Nick? We where's got, Nick? We got, we got, where's, our, where's our mock guy? Probably buying himself a loaf of bread somewhere. <laughs> Probably needs it, yeah. <laughs> Nick with the bag. A loaf of bread. Jeez. You know, fun fact: my little brother actually used to eat a whole loaf of bread, uh, and he would put butter and sugar on it. Butter and the sugar. The most unhealthy thing ever. On? And guess how he lost all that weight? Playing basketball. Oh, there you go. Through the summer, yeah. yeah I'm sure. Absolutely loves it. Yeah, I hear butter and sugar is not good. <laughs> <laughs> butter, sugar, and bread. Yeah, that's a not an deadly combination. <laughs> My mom would get mad at him. She'd smack him for eating a yeah, whole loaf of bread. <laughs> our, our bread is gone. Why, Mom? <laughs> I bought it two days put ago. butter and sugar on our bread today, <laughs> so I don't think anyone was going to want it. We're good. Uh, all right. All right. Over the top. X. That's oh, a with a bad, bad pass. Here comes Brandon Steed rushing down the lane. Oh, and he can't hit it. That's a brick yeah, of the day brought to you by Zane here. the Realtor. They pass it to X from the three-point line, and he hits. The Makos now lead by one point. Oh, the sound went out of my uh, headset. Right. We'll figure it out. You good? Okay, that's fine. And he shoots it. There go, there it might go. be the connection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's okay. That's okay. That was a good. Uh, that was a good steal by Brandon. Ooh, good pass by ago. X. Can't hit. That's a foul, that's a foul, that's two fouls, one in the face, one in the shoulder, we're missing here. My gosh. Oh, there goes the Magicians. Good take, good Ooh, pass. Good there pass. we go. Come on, Jay Lola. That's oh, a good shot, though. Great job, Gary, getting him involved. Good shot, Jacob. That's one thing I like about Gary Harris. He get, he, he passed it to, you know, someone to get hot right there. I think he could have taken Brandon two, but he was Jacob getting, Yeah. Brandon and Jacob getting checked out here. Yeah, keep shooting that, Jacob. That's a good shot. That's a great pass by Gary Harris. The rotation for the Magician is actually really good here. You got a tray on the floor now. You could also make shots for you here late in the game. Job. Don't dribble, look up. Don't dribble, look up. Look corner, look corner. Oh, yes. That's a good pass. Oh, it looks like he's, it looked like he touched it. You got to make that yeah. up, Trey. He tipped it with his finger. That was Honestly, he, could, he probably could have got pump fake and attacked the basket, but hindsight's 20 20. Oh, that's a sweet finish of the day. Well, Brought to you by Ash's look Bitch. Look at X. X having a big game for the Makos, low key. Ooh. Oh. Watch me. <laughs> I do what I want. Wow. Brisky upset that uh Stur God damn. What the hell we got going on? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stellar Nation 3D. I hate it. <laughs> they told me to stop talking. All right. Gary Harris. Oh, 
Oh, Gary Harris is a three. Good shot. Got a wildin' over there. Magician's bench <laughs> trying to take the commentary booth out. My water bottle took, yeah, water bottle took the, the biggest hit. Great job, yeah, Sterling. Man, that's a Sterling Shakespeare again. Yeah, just take Sterling that. Sterling taking it up. Can't Good get shit. the foul. All right, guys. Oh, come man. On. Let's, grab the, let's just grab the ball. He's not gonna pass that. Oh, pass. Oh, good defense by the Magicians. Here they come. Sterling from the corner. Oh, can't hit. That's, that's Magician Ball. Yep. 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 Nope. Oh, man. Hey, you swung down, buddy. You hit that. A little over. Oh, hey, good. Attack next time, Sterling. Three forty-five to go. The score is tied at fifty-seven. Oh. That's Loki a turnover. Yep. That is a bad fumble by the magicians, man. Yeah, he's, he could argue it was a bit of a reach by Q. Right. Um. Yeah, I see Gary's upset about that. Oh, shot dog. Oh, they're lucky that he didn't make that one. Sterling's had so many rebounds this game. He did. He, that's what I said. Man. He's gonna be doing that a lot. Keep that up, Sterling. Good shit. <laughs> Mike Mitchell pass. passes to Sterling. Sterling for three. Yeah. Ooh, air ball. That's, that's a brick time. of the day. Brought to you that's by Zena, bro. That literally just went out on Kyle. He called it that way. Guys, I don't know what's going on here, <laughs> but that was clearly off on Kyle. So either you're going to call over the back and then it's Mako Ball, or if you're not calling that over the back, that was clearly out on Kyle. We got to figure that out. Yeah, they paid the rest. I'm just kidding. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, Another oh, rebound by Sterling. I'll live with it, whatever. <laughs> don't settle anymore, Sterling. That's it. Yeah. There Take go, it buddy. in. Yeah, that's that's his game right there. Be yep. strong. Take it in. Yeah, when, he set, when he settles, you know, he hit the first three. And he's probably just trying to feel out how he's feeling out there. He realized, all right, I missed the last two. Let me go ahead and attack. Brandon's, uh, Brandon Steele's about to check in as well. That's smart, man. The, making those adjustments. Okay, I can't shoot a three. Let me take it in. Oh, use it for three. Oh, can't hit. That's a brick of the day. Brought to my team with that, If you're the magician, if you're the magician you will live with that. We're going into the two-minute warning here. We got a timeout. Timeout. Mako's here on that play. Great job here by the magicians. Hey, they got one left. And with that, we're going to go to the grooming gallery, who, of course, is a meticulous barber, and his new location in Hunter's Creek, just amazing. I'm telling you, he can give a you a nice kiss. edge up, a nice fade, whatever you need. Honestly, I feel like he does it all. So go ahead, give him a shot, or give him a DM at uh, the grooming gallery to get your appointment today. Two-point lead. Let's see what they're talking about. They look not happy. Where you actually go to the basket and dish it off. Dish it off because you're waiting too long to shoot it. Yes, sir. You guys shoot it, dish it sooner. Let's go, let's go. Yo, defense off three, defense off three, one, three. Defense. All right. Emphasizing defense, like what we've been talking about the whole time. Yusuf is settling for three pointers, three feet behind the line. It's not working. It's not working right now. Magician's ball coming out of the timeout. Two minutes, 20 seconds left. This will be the upset of the season. That's why he hasn't been here for the last few weeks, apparently. Oh, wow. Dang, it's just a few weeks, that convention? Oh, man. Oh, His haircuts man. must be nice. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Attack. Oh, man. Nice move. Oh, man. Nice steal from the Makos. Here comes 1v1 one God. Yeah. Fine uh, shot. Fine boogie. Oh, I'm... Yeah, yeah, oh go, good steal by Brandon Steed. He can do that for you. Oh. Oh, that's a break many, of the day brought to you by Zane many, the Realtor. Yeah, Brandon. That's a foul. Oh, what's going on there? That's he grabbed it. Foul, yeah. That's a bad foul. That is a bad. That is that. Yeah. That, that kind of foul was bad, but was. I get it's frustrating. Yeah. You're gonna have to. Yeah. yeah. If you. So here's the thing. Rebounding wise, you're getting more out of Brand. I'm sorry, out of Sterling than you are out of Mike Mitchell. They're about the same size. The difference is Sterling's putting his head down, going to the basket right now. He's making, you know, he's making an effort on both ends. Boogie's tr uh, subbing out Trey here to just give him a little minute to relax after that frustrating foul. But if I'm, hey, Mike, if I'm Mike Mitchell, I need the ball around, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm, it's not going well for me today. I've hit one shot. I got one layup. 
Right. Let me go somewhere else because other people are hitting shots. Let me find other ways to make winning plays. Great pass. Oh, great pass. Oh, great That's defensive play. And again, Sterling Shakespeare. Oh, man. They get it back and put it back in. And make goes back up by one. <laughs> Karen's just staring right at you. Somebody open. That was a, that was a funny flop right there. I didn't expect that. Oh, wow. And Gary Harris go. gets it in. You see, when you don't. That's an end one. When you play defense. You want to actually play defense. You don't want to fake like you're playing defense and flop and half-ass it. Because then shit like that happens. Excuse my language. But this is frustrating <laughs> seeing really bad defense in a situation where you need it. That's bad defense. You flop here instead of actually moving your feet, fighting over the screen. And then you half-ass your way to recover. Gary gets in there. And then you foul on top of that and compound the whole shit. In a close game. In a close <laughs> game. And luckily he misses the free throw. Oh! Oh! And that's turnover a here. bad turnover, man. I'm sorry. That was a horrible one. He's looking for Jay Nolan. Oh, he finds Sterling instead. Oh, that is a hard foul. Oh, man. I get it, though. I get it, though. Make him earn it. Yep, make him earn it. Make him earn it. Because if not, if there was no contest, he was going to make that. But you know, at the end of the day, this is this is starting to pile up on their team foul part, so their bonus is going to be a little sooner than they probably like it to be. Right. They haven't. There's not been one. Bit that, of I'm telling you, energy. that was that was literally one of my. That was the first thing yep. I wrote down. Do not fight each other, please. He's okay. <laughs> Positive energy, guys. Man, it's amazing what happens when you put guys with good character on your team. I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you, buddy. There you go. Good oh, shot. Good shot. All right. Up by two. One minute, 13 seconds left in the game. You test the ball. Clock starts. You know, regardless yeah, of what Bo happens. Boogie's doing a great job coaching right now. The team from the sideline. Yep. Yusuf. Oh, they did a great job oh, closing that here. lane for Yusuf. You know, that's all right. That's a good foul. You're in, you got three right now. It's a blocking foul. Next foul, though, however, is a one and one because it's under two minutes. So I want to be careful if I'm the magicians. Yeah, no. I don't want to give them the tie. They play decent defense for it. They just got to do it one more time right here. Yeah, you want to defend without fouling here. Don't defend without it. fouling. Get the ball back for the time. Oh, that's a bad foul. Yeah, literally as soon as you said that. It's a bad foul, unfortunately. Well, hopefully he misses the first one. It's one so of one, guys. It's two in a row. So yep. if, 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 it's, if you're the magicians, right, he yeah. makes two. Let's just say X makes two right here. Okay. It's high. Do you hold the ball? Do you run the clock out? Do you score quick? I try to I try to run a patient play. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying take all the time, but I'm saying let's get a good shot. Let's try to get fouled. First right. of all, we don't need a three unless it's absolutely wide open. And I'm not taking the three in the first few seconds. Oh, they missed it. Perfect. So they didn't get any. Come on. Guys. Oh, but they give it up. Oh, Great good effort, block guys. by Chili. Great job, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, here comes Gary Harris. They got three. There you go. That's exactly what you wanted, though. Oh, but it doesn't count. That's great job. Chili, that was an amazing effort. This, I'm really defense. proud of this Magicians team, the way they came out today. They started off the game shorthanded, and they just fought and fought, not against each other, but with each other. This is probably the most complete game they've played together all season. And these guys have never played together, you know, except for the, except for the starters. They got yeah. a bunch of new people. Like you said, only two of them have been here <laughs> since, the, since the beginning. It's insane. It's a great job, man. It is. And honestly, I give credit to Boogie for coaching, like, the way he Absolutely, is. He's energetic. Man. He's telling – he's literally – Telling you know, these guys what to do, calling foul. things out. Look at that. All right, you just got to go hit these now. Let's go, Sterling. Yep. That's what I like. I really like that kind of coach right there. Yeah. I really do. Yeah, Boogie's a, Boogie's a really intense dude. We would love them on the Reapers if we, if we were able to draft him. <laughs> uh, he was great on the Rangers last season. He shot some crazy percentage. From, there was like 55% from three or some craziness oh like that. Oh, my goodness, really? Yeah. He was, and, like in the whole season? The whole season, man. It was oh consistent, too. Put him in the game. What is he doing right there? <laughs> He's being a leader, man. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. <laughs> He's good. He's a, I love Boogie. Great effort, guys. Don't foul. Anything but a three right now. I can't see what's happening in the three. corner here. It looks like they shoot a three. Oh, can't hit. Oh, the magicians right. come down with it. Right now. It's all about running clock at this point. It. Just go hit the free throw and you're chilling. They, okay, so question. They stop the clock now, right? Yeah. Now that they, it's like a bonus now that it's a, So because we're under two minutes. Okay, I see. Yeah, as long as it's a dead ball, the clock will stop. So right now we're shooting the free throw, which is a dead ball situation. Clock is stopped. Now once the shot is made, the clock is still stopped until it's inbounded and yeah. the player has it live on the court. And Dang. then the clock will run from there. So if I'm the magician, man, this is 
we talked about it from the beginning. The game plan is slow the game down yep. by attacking the basket. They've been in the free throw line a lot today, and that's taken a lot of time off. A team like the Makos, who like to get perimeter-oriented offense, needs a lot of time. Oh, yeah. Because then with the shortened game, each possession is weighed more, which means you can't really make many mistakes. Mm -hmm. And right now, the Makos have made one too many mistakes, and there's just not enough positions or possessions rather in the game to come back from them. You said it best. Great job, Gary. Bro. He makes one, misses on the right, second. Just make sure you don't give up a three. Don't foul no three. Threes. Whatever you do, don't foul on three. That's fine. Oh, man, to their best. Oh, and the game is tied. 13.6 seconds left in the game. Oh, oh and they give the ball up. There goes 1v1. Got and he hits it. 8.8 .8 seconds left in the game. Oh, my goodness. The Magicians call a timeout. Yeah, you probably want that timeout when it was tied. Eight seconds left. You kind of want to call that timeout there. That's in spite of what happens in this game. Win, <laughs> lose, draw. I don't care. I'm proud of what the magicians were able to do. Wow. This has been a great first game. 8.8 .8 seconds left in the game. It's not over yet, folks. It is not over yet. A three will win it. A two will tie it. As long as the right person is taking that three, you got a chance. But at the end of the day, just be patient. Eight seconds is a long time. And with that, go ahead and visit One Hop to Shot. They have everything uh, Cell Nation League Season 5 merch, including hoodies, T-shirts. You guys have socks. Hopefully they get bandanas soon for uh, Andre Berg. <laughs> um, and if you want to hit them up to go, go ahead and purchase your merch. Hit them up at Cell Nation League or at Cell Nation League. And, you know, Bandana Berg is crazy. <laughs> Banana, <laughs> banana, 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 banana bird. Ban I said banana, <laughs> right? That's the right word. Yeah, banana, yeah. bandana, the banana bird. Banana, yeah, Jeez, yeah. say that three times quickly. <laughs> oh my God. Triple B. All right. Jerry, go get it. Jerry, go get it. Anybody oh man. My, yeah, I'm, I'm at the edge of my seat right now. Yeah, I don't like. If he makes this, that's a good. Oh, I don't think he should have taken that shot, but he gets it anyways. Who cares what I think? Who cares what I think? It's tied. 2.8 seconds left. You still got to be up, man. He told me to shut up. He told me, hey, hey, I'll be quiet. Hey, I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet. Oh, my goodness. So, for context, I was just about to talk about Mike Mitchell having the ball with a few seconds left. The last time that happened, he made a game-winning three against, I believe it was the Heartbreak Kids. He was on the Bandits. He made a three-pointer as time expired, and they won it on that. So this is not new to him. This is not. This is great, man. This is not new to Mike Mitchell, even though he's been missing all day. Yeah. You know, shout out to him having confidence to take that shot in a big moment, and he hit it. That's what counts at the end I mean, of the he's, day. Great he's been job. six man back to back, right? He sometimes been, those yeah. six man can make big plays for you like that. That is true, man. Now right here, you don't, you cannot foul in this no situation. Foul. Right? Take it, take it to overtime. Oh man, do you think we're gonna have a treat here? <laughs> An overtime game, game one. Oh man. Jeez, man. I love this league. It doesn't matter what shot they take. That's the, that's the trouble. Yusuf. Taking the final shot. Oh, oh my God! And he hits it. it. The Makos win the game. Insane. The Makos win the game. You sit for the game-winning three. <laughs> what the? Oh hell my hell goodness! This happened, bro. Oh my goodness! That's crazy, man. Yusuf, Yusuf, with the three. Yusuf was having trouble from the three-point line this whole game and knocks the most important one down. And now he wow. flips off the crowd. He flips off all 20 of the people on the stage. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and the Makos win the game. What an epic finish. Wow. I cannot wait for game two. Thank you for joining us here. Oh, my goodness. That I'm was speechless. great, man. That was great. Listen, if I'm the Magicians, don't be upset. You had a good game. I know that's a heartbreaker, but it took that to beat y'all today. Oh, my God. Build on that, man. <laughs> good shit. Yusuf, greater shit, Magician. Oh, yeah. And hey, guys, don't go anywhere else. Game two is on its way. Where's Yusuf? Yusuf! Yusuf! They was talking shit all game, nigga. All game. Hey, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be humble, bro. Shout out to the Magicians. They just got a new team. They played hard. But you can't stop. Oh, God, nigga. Shout out to Allah. Alhamdulillah. What a game. Montel, it's my boy. What do you think about that one? 
Yusuf is a beast, man. Stop playing with him. Stop playing with Yusuf. Yusuf needs to stop playing with himself because he could uh, he could do that a lot, but uh, he settled for a lot of shit. When it came down to the end, hell of a game by the Makos to come together. Um, wow. They literally were fighting up until like 8.8 .8 seconds left in the game, and then they're like, you know what, we're cool. It's amazing. It's amazing. All right. Next up, Goblins Dogs. Gobbling up some dogs, cheddar goblins, diggy dogs. Oh, spread out. Ch Coming up. 